And I think uh, I think this conversation would not be complete if we didn't mention Schrodinger's cat as one of the experiments for the multiverse. Um, yeah. Like, I, are you guys familiar with Schrodinger's cat? I'm sure you've heard of that. I don't know that I have, Brandy. I, I don't think I have. Yeah, so for anybody who's not familiar, I figured I would uh, run through what Schrodinger's cat, that experiment is about, because I think it gives evidence for the multiverse that we're talking about today. So imagine this, that you put a cat in a sealed box, and inside the box is a tiny bit of radioactive material, a Geiger counter, a vial of poison, and a hammer rigged to break that vial only if the Geiger counter senses radiation. So there's a 50-50 chance that the radioactive atom will decay and therefore, there's a 50-50 chance that the cat lives. But here's where it gets weird. Until you open that box, you don't know whether the cat is alive or dead. And in quantum mechanics, the radioactive atom is in a state called superposition. It has both decayed and not decayed at the same time, which means that the cat is both dead and alive at the same time until you look. In other words, all possibilities exist until you place your awareness on it. And the double slit experiment that we already discussed tells us the same thing, that all possibilities exist in the quantum realm, and it is our consciousness that determines the outcome.